Hello, YouTube. This is Furious Maximum, and in my not-so-humble opinion, these are my top four mods for Fallout 4 on the PS4. This game is about seven years old, but settlement building with mods still feels fresh even after all of this time. Let's get right into it, shall we? Do you get annoyed when settlers or brahmin walk on your tables and countertops and knock over all of your well-placed stuff? Or do you sometimes have uncontrollable urges to walk over your own countertops and tabletops, but you don't want to knock over your own stuff while doing so? Well then, OC Decorator is for you. It allows you to take items from your personal inventory or workshop and make them into immovable objects. You can scrap them if you want them back. Here's an example of OC Decorator in action. It's its own category in the workshop menu, and here I'm about to place the coffee cups and other items that I knocked off of these tabletops at Red Rocket's truck stop. So I'm going to select them from my inventory, and they only appear available for selection if they're in your personal inventory or in your workshop. Now, as you notice, I don't have Red Rock Rocket, pardon me, Red Rocket truck stop that built up. This is just for the purpose of showing how OC Decorator works. You place down items and they become fixed into position so they cannot be picked up or knocked about by settlers or especially Brahmin that just love walking on countertops. Next, we're about to see several mods in action at once. You'll see this settler has a name, Jacob, and he has an expanded set of animations where he's gutting fish, scaling fish, and tossing them into a bucket for storage later. I like that the settlers have names from the mod Simple Settlers because I'm tired of calling settlers settlers. The settlers are tired of being called settlers, I'm sure, and they have expanded animations where they cut and gut meat because I'm pretty sure in the far future they're tired of this vegan push too. Because in my personal fiction, in the Commonwealth you know Wasteland, day, not everybody and their brother is a vegan. So here's Jordan gutting what appears to be a rad stag. And here I'm going to show you how it actually works. The convex end, which is the curved in end, is the end that the settler faces. So that's the side that needs to face the table that you're going to use. Because if you don't use the table, they're just going to stand over nothing. And if you don't place an object on that table, usually with the help of OC Decorator, then they're going to be cutting nothing. What's important to note is that the mod won't let you move the mat to the table, but it will let you move the table towards the mat. And it needs to be basically right up on the mat for the settler to look like they're in the correct position. Here, there's a hunting station, and hanging up the rad stag off of ceiling fixtures can be a little finicky, and the attachment point appears to be where their ankles cross, and you have to line it up on ceiling rafters correctly. Here's another example of two mods in action at the same time. With simple settlers, even in shop menus, the settlers that are named retain their names. The mod being shown here is Overgrowth, Immersive Forests and Grasslands, because I'm pretty sure even in an irradiated wasteland that after 200 years, some of the grass and trees might begin to grow back and show signs of growth and foliage. I hope you found this brief video at least slightly inspirational and informative. The rest of the footage you'll see from here on out are the information screens from the mods themselves on the listing for the mods on the PS4 so that you can see in detail what these mods are and what they do. Hopefully this inspires you to renew your settlement building and thank you very much. Thank you for viewing.